I say, uh, fuck it like the blunt up on the bridges that I burn. Huh? I know they gon' bite me, that's the blessings that I earn. Huh? Ten bad bitches, then they all can get the point. Hey guys. Curry Studios Productions 2K4 here with another rant. And today, I'm gonna triple rant on Sean Sullivan, Wilson Perez, and Rainboy 107. Note. My voice is James since Eric voice not working. First, I'm gonna rant on Sean Sullivan. If anyone who like this user, I'm highly suggest that you guys should not trust him anymore since he is a child molester. I'm not bashing anyone's opinion. It just a warning. Anyways, let's begin our first rant. Shall we? Sean Sullivan is got to be one of the worst users in Beyond or Go Animate community. Let me explain why he sucks super hard. 1. He takes Joba way too seriously. You can just ignore him. Even though Joba isn't better than him since Joba is a racist user. 2. He shared someone's email and password that caused a user to be hacked. What the hell Sean? You should know that email and passwords are personal information's purposes only. 3. On the same reason. He reveals his school or college to the public and it's supposed to be private. 4. He made the inappropriate video where little Bill, the Backyardigans and Kylan pull down their pants and show their private parts. Are you freaking serious? You know damn well that if you get really out and you can get a community guidelines strike for posting sexual content, it's illegal to process and child pornography. You can end up in jail for over five years for doing that in real life. 5. His fan base is toxic nowadays. Since his fans attacked Chronic and others just for speaking the truth about him. And he did this since he sent his fans to attack them. This proves you're a manipulator. 6. He called innocent users go kids. This proves you're a man child. 7. He manipulates fans to forgive him. Oh come on. Other people won't forgive you for what you have done. 8. He can't handle people cut ties with him. It's not hard to handle hate or criticisms. It's a simple thing to do. 9. He brainwashed people to hate other YouTubers that he hates. He said he's neutral to Wilson Perez. Proving he is neutral to pedophiles. 10. He took his haters where exposing him way too seriously. This proves you can't handle exposure. How even more man-child. 11. He made bad videos out of Christmas Yes Sunny Day No. Emmanuel Thomas. And other users that he hates. Even though Christmas Yes Sunny Day No and Emmanuel Thomas isn't better than him since Christmas fed dogs with chocolate and Emmanuel kept talk smack to his mother. And he is also a stalker. 12. He made the video where little Bill hired Hitman to kill Caillou and Dora. And they both get a punishment day. At the end. They're being bailed by polls. Are you freaking crazy or what? This proves you're mocking paper Luigi 99, which is now known as the Red Knight Beyond It. You can get arrested for doing that in real life. This is a serious crime, which means it's called murder. Thirteenth and finally. The worst part. Is that he made the video where little Bill and Dora having. In the bathroom. You know that it's illegal to having with people who is below the age of 18. This also proves you're pedophile. This proves your takes preschool characters way too far. That's so it. I'm done with you this time. Get out of my face! End of the first rant. The second rant I'm gonna rant this criminal named Wilson Perez. If anyone who like this users, then stop trusting him since he is a pervert. I'm not bashing anyone's opinion. Yet again. It just a warning. Anyways. Let's get started. Shall we? Wilson Perez is a notorious sex offender and a pedophile. Let me explain why he sucks. 1. He cannot handle hate or criticisms. I told you on the previous rant. It's easy to handle your own hate your man child. 2. He is a stalker. One example is that he made the video where Emmanuel took her clothes OFFF and got grounded for it. You know that this is sexual harassment, and you can get arrested for doing that in real life. 3. 
He added too many users in his video which all these users are still hate him. This proves he is an attention seeker and also proves he takes haters way too seriously. 4. He made the video where he's crying himself since he got cyberbullied by trolls. This proves he is a man-child and a Caleb on Roblox 2007 wannabe, even though Caleb is a notorious criminal who makes sock puppet accounts. 5. He made Punishment Day and grounded videos out of trolls, including Noella the Zeddy and Number Blocks 2K8. Even though I'm despise on this user, this proves your cyberbullying. Child abuse and troll feeding. 6. He made fake apology videos. Seriously. Anyone won't accept your apology for what you have done. 7. He made the video out of someone fights with Naku and say racist things to him. This proves you're racist to Asian Americans. 8. He lied about that he proving his behavior after he say that he would stop making bad videos out of trolls after he got a hate base in October 2021, which means he is a hypocrite. 9. He makes comfort videos which are pointless and an immature. 10. He made the video where Joe Gacha ships with number block 26 and Crayon Love 72 with Trixie prank. This proves you're pervert and a pedophile since Trixie is a minor. 11. His fan attacked Landon all for making a truth post about him and gave him a false hate base. Oh come on. Landon did the right thing since he is criticizing you. 12. He made the video where his dad used a flamethrower to burn down serial killer UTTPTHDTCTSPL. This proves you're committed brutal harassment and murder. You can end up in jail and face execution for doing that. 13. He made an opinion change on Andrea Godinho de Oliveira for saying that he now hates her for betraying her. This proves your opinion basher. 14. He talks smack to Ivan Tsipave about he is back in October 2022. Which means he is an Emmanuel Thomas wannabe. 15. And finally. The very worst part. Is that he made the video where Kim got a punishment day. He is far by making her is naked at the age of 14. You should know that is CP and pedophilia. You can get a community guideline strike for posting sexual content. Or worse. Get arrested for processing child pornography. That's it Wilson Perez. I'm so done with you big time. No, you lost! End of the second rant. My third and final rant I'll gonna rant on this pedophile named Rainboy107. If anyone likes this, I'm suggest that you shouldn't trust him anymore, because he did CP anyways. Let's get started. Shall we? Rainboy107 is a second sex offender in my rant video. Let me explain why he is a criminal and get wanted by the FBI. 1. He ships minors to adults. Here's the example. One example is Rack Anima ships Amanda Rose as a couple. Rack is a minor and Amanda is at the 20s, even though Amanda Rose is an entitled Karen and a drama feeder. Another example is GoTube and GoTest334 as a couple and claims that is a joke. In reality, it's not. You should know that is homophobic and pedophilia. Another example is that back in 2019, he made the graphic videos that is raping a troll. Proving that he is a troll feeder since trolls must to be ignored. 2. He pulls victim card on Amanda Rose. Even though Amanda is another pedophile user who made fetish Dora gets grounded video, oh come on. Just because criticizing you for mistakes isn't get any rights to use your mental disorders as an excuse so you can get away with it. Just deal with it. 3. Speaking of the first reason, he is a pedophile by sexualized a group of minor users. One example is that he want to sexualize Dessa Dodrinkers for saying that his real voice sounds cute. Are you freaking serious? You know that Dessa Dodrinkers is 13 while This proves you're pedophile by saying your real life voice sounds cute. That's why anyone isn't going to trust you ever again. Another example is that he groomed a 12-year-old named Rage Animate while he is 19. 
Another giveaway is that back in November 2019, when Diego is 13 and Rainboy is 17, he wants to threaten to record him to doing private stuff. This proves you're sex offender and a pedophile. You can end up in jail for that. 4. He blamed Rack Animate for making him delete all of his video and claimed that his videos were hard work. When they don't seem to look like videos that they're hard work, since they don't have the evidence put into them, you know that Rack Animate was only give you a constructive criticism's purposes to stop this illegal legacy video's maker clones. He also threatened to quit Go Animate community after the argument he had against Rack Animate. 5. He made killing videos out of Steven Swabby. Just because he made videos out of him by dancing like a girl. You should know that killing videos is cyberbullying. You can get arrested for attempted murder. 6. He even made the nutshell video out of Amanda Rose just because she is criticizing him. 7. He uploaded videos where Amanda Rose got committed suicide and celebrate her death. This proves he is heartless. Even though she is a bad user. 8. He had accidentally disrespected King Halo who appeared to be depressed and suicidal by he faking it and doing it for his attention. When he wasn't. Plus. If King Halo faked depression and suicidal thoughts. This would make Rainboy 107 a hybrid since he fakes depression and suicidal thoughts. 9. He uploaded a tickle fetish videos out of Tuxedo 64. Which is a plagiarized Yankee Dude 5000's tickle torture videos. Even though both victim aren't better than him, also proves he is a Jacob's own wannabe since he plagiarized someone's videos. 10. He lied about African Vulture's gender since she had a short hair. Seriously. You should know that having short hair doesn't means to lie about someone's gender. Some of the women want short hair for some reasons. Like in hot climate and trendy purposes. This proves he is a liar for claiming that African Vulture is lied about her gender. 11. He wants manipulating his friends to join by side of making a 30-minute apology video. Yet he is still acting the same way as he was back on July 2021 when he was criticized. Besides, some of the haters had the right thing to cut ties with him. That's why I'm not going to trust him ever again because of his actions. Note. Some haters gave him three chances and he destroyed them all and still acting the same way when he was back in July 2021. 12. His content is horrible like crap. Not even surprised. 13. Just like Cyan's world cartoon. He is still live streaming after he faked suicide on a hangar. Are you serious right now? Did you realize you're still living the crap out of me because of that? This is why I'm never gonna trust you to begin with. 14. Speaking of reason number 12. He also faked his promises and he's always apologizes and he's still acting of his actions back in July 2021. 15. And finally. The very very worst part. He is the main reason that why the GoAnimate community has becoming toxic because of his criminal crimes. Are you kidding me? I cannot believe you have done of your bullcrap. Everyone is done with you on their own channel. And they're lost of you respectfully. And you know what this means. I'm never going to trust you ever again. And don't even think about putting in apology comments on my rant videos since your apology is denied. Big time. Now get out of my sight! I told you to serve what you've done! What is there to do with you? Now get out of my sight! That's the end of my triple rant. One last reminding. This rant video is for constructive criticism's purposes only. Don't bash anyone's opinion. If anyone bashing anyone's opinion and saying rude to me, I'll remove your comment and I'll block you from my channel without second chances. Anyways, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the future.